Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to optimize your product listings on Teespring. Optimizing your Teespring listings will help customers find your products. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll be notified each time I release a new tutorial. So you've just created a great design to add to your Teespring store, and you want to make sure shoppers are able to search for and find your products. When uploading products to Teespring, how well you optimize your listing can determine whether your design performs well or simply gathers dust on the Teespring server. In this video, you'll learn several ways to optimize your Teespring listing to improve search rankings and to get more sales. The goal is to get your products discovered on the Teespring Boosted Network, Teespring Search, and other search engines like Google. So the first tip is to make sure that you're opted into all of the Teespring marketing options. To do this, let's open up your account drop-down menu, then click on Settings. This should take you to the Settings page where you can update your profile information. In the Advanced Settings section, you can update your launch preferences and the Teespring Increase Your Sales options. In order to increase the visibility of your products, make sure you have all the checkboxes selected. Each option provides a different way that Teespring can promote your products. Under Launch Preferences, make sure you select to display the share options so your products can be easily shared. You can also select to show the timer on your listings to add a sense of urgency. Under Increase Your Sales, you can see all sorts of ways that Teespring can promote your products. We have free Teespring Basic Retargeting, which is when Teespring sends out reminders to shoppers who viewed your product but didn't make a purchase. We have Enable Boosted Retargeting, which provides more ad placements, Teespring Boosted Product Listing Ads, which brings in traffic from places like Google, Teespring Email Marketing, where your products can be shown in Teespring email campaigns, Feature your listings in the Teespring Marketplace, Enable buyers to find your listings through Google and other search engines, and feature your listings in the Teespring Boosted Network, which can show your product in Teespring's 7 Plus Marketplace integrations. So go ahead and make sure you have all these options selected, then click on the Update Info button at the bottom. So now let's go over an example of how to optimize your Teespring listing during the upload process. This will include creating a keyword list based on the design that you're uploading, and using that keyword list to optimize your titles, descriptions, and even your listing URL. So the next tip to create an optimized Teespring listing is to create a keyword list. The keywords that you add to your list should be both relevant to your design and something buyers would search for. So for this example, I'll be using this meditation design that I just made using the Placeit T-Shirt Design Maker. If you want an easy way to create awesome T-Shirt designs fast, even if you're not a designer, I highly recommend that you check out the Placeit T-Shirt Design Maker. They have over 50,000 templates for any niche that you can use to create your design. You can access the T-Shirt Design Maker by clicking the link in the video description. So now let's check out the keyword list that I created for this meditation design. When creating your keyword list, you want to select words that are most relevant to the design that you're uploading. The first keywords that I like to add to my list are any words that are featured in the design itself. For this design, that would be the words heavily and meditated. Next, I like to add words that are relevant to the actual design. This design features a lotus flower in the background a girl meditating in the lotus position, and she's in a sitting meditation. Since the main topic for this design is meditation, I'm also going to add in word variations like meditated, meditating, meditation, and meditate. After adding keywords that are relevant to the design, I then like to add other keywords that can be associated with this topic. For the topic of meditation, other keywords can include zen, wellness, mindfulness, namaste, mind, and yoga. If you're having trouble coming up with keywords, you can search competitors' products to see what keywords are working for them. You could also use keyword research tools like Keywords Everywhere or Google Keyword Planner. If you go to ads.google.com slash home slash tools slash keyword dash planner, you can log into your Google account and research keywords based on the Google search traffic. 
simply type in one to three of your main keywords and Google will provide you a list of keywords that are relevant to the ones that you're searching for. You can get great keyword ideas and even see the average monthly searches for those keywords. So now that I've created my keyword list, let's head back over to Teespring and upload my design and create my product listing. So the next tip for optimizing your product listings on Teespring is to make sure you edit each product that you add your design to. For each product, you want to make sure to take the time to edit the design size and make sure it's in the correct location. You can resize your design by clicking the bottom right hand corner here or move your design to a new location by clicking and dragging. Your design placement may be a little off on certain products, so make sure you go through and edit each one individually to make sure it's in the right location. When uploading your designs, you also want to make sure you choose the correct product colors. For example, this design features white text which can be hard to see on a white shirt. So for my design, I'm going to remove any colors that my design doesn't show up well on and add all the colors that does display my design well. And make sure you remember to do this process for each product that you decide to add your design to. When you select a new product, simply click the edit button here and you can update your design size, location, and your product colors. So once you've selected and edited each product that you want to add your design to, we can now click on continue and optimize our product listing. In order to create an optimized product listing, make sure you have your keyword list handy. We'll be using your keyword list to create an optimized title, description, and even listing URL. So tip number four is to use your keyword list to create an optimized title. Your titles are one of the most important things that can determine whether your product performs well. So as an example, let's first take a look at a bad title. So this title says meditation t-shirt for men on sale now limited edition. Let's take a look and see why this is a bad title. First, if you look at the title text field on the left hand side, you'll see that the text and the box has turned red. This is because this title exceeds the Teespring 40 character limit for titles. When creating your titles, make sure you stay under the 40 character limit and try to limit your titles to 5 to 8 words. Another thing that's wrong with this title is it contains the phrase t-shirt for men. You don't want to use words to describe the products that your design is printed on. This includes words describing the product's type, color, or the size. These words don't describe what your design is about and are automatically incorporated into your listings by Teespring. Remember you're creating a title to be displayed on all your products, so if you're selling your products on t-shirts, hoodies, and coffee mugs, you don't want them all to say meditation t-shirt for men. And finally, you don't want to use phrases like on sale now, limited edition, or sale ending soon. Not only do they not describe your design or improve your search ranking, but could actually violate the Teespring false advertising policy. Only use words and phrases that describe your design because anything else is pretty much a waste of space. So let's see if we can come up with a better title. This title here reads, Heavily Meditated, Girl Meditating. This title is under the 8 word limit, has the words Heavily Meditated, which is featured in the design, and the words Girl Meditating, which describes what's happening in the design. Also, this title was created using the main keywords from my keyword list. So remember to keep your titles under the 40 character limit, limit your number of words to under 8, make sure your titles are specific and describe your design, and make sure you include your main keywords from your keyword list that customers are likely to search for. So our next Teespring optimization tip is to use your keyword list to optimize your product description. But before we take a look at a good example, Let's take a look at a bad product description. This description reads, Premium quality t-shirt now available, comes in multiple colors, includes blue, orange, and black. This top selling t-shirt makes a perfect gift for friends and family, made in the USA, credit cards and PayPal accepted, quality guaranteed or money back, international shipping is available. Contact Joe at mysite.com for customer service, for meditation, sitting, lotus flower, Meditate, Meditates, Meditating, Namaste, Chakras, Zen, Mindfulness, and Mind. Hashtag Top Seller, Hashtag Teespring Shirt, Hashtag Christmas Gift, and Hashtag T-Shirt Sale. So let's break this down and see why this description is so bad. 
the first line reads, premium quality t-shirt now available in all capital letters. You never want to write your words in all capital letters. Not only does this look spammy, but it makes it seem like you're yelling at the customer. The next line reads, comes in multiple colors, including blue, orange, and black. This top selling t-shirt makes a perfect gift for friends and family. Just like we discussed with our titles, you don't want to use words describing the product type, color, or the size. Product types and information are automatically incorporated into your listing by Teespring. Also, if you're selling your design on another product like a coffee mug, you don't want the description to describe a t-shirt. The next few lines read, made in the USA, credit cards and PayPal accepted, quality guaranteed or money back, international shipping is available. You shouldn't use any promotional text like credit cards and PayPal accepted or international shipping is available. These have nothing to do with your design and don't help with your SEO. Other forms of promotional text may include shipping info, delivery, price, or payment options. Also, you don't want to include phrases like quality guaranteed or money back because these could violate the Teespring false advertising policy. The next line of this description reads, contact joe at mysite.com for customer support. Never include customer support emails or telephone numbers in your descriptions. Shoppers can find the customer support information on the Teespring site and it doesn't help them find your designs. The next line in the description reads for meditation, sitting, lotus flower, meditate, meditates, meditating, namaste, chakras, zen, mindfulness, and mind. Although these are all words related to my design, they're stuffed into a sentence that doesn't make any sense. When you just randomly add keywords to your description, this is called keyword stuffing. Keyword stuffing can confuse shoppers and it can make your listing look spammy. When adding your keywords, you want to use them in proper sentences that are descriptive and can be read by humans. Also, you don't need to repeat keywords. Unlike other platforms, this doesn't improve your SEO when it comes to your Teespring listings. And for the final line in the description, we have a bunch of hashtags. Hashtags are great for Instagram, but I wouldn't use them in your Teespring descriptions. They're not great at describing your design, and it's just another way to make your description look spammy. So now let's take a look at a good product description. This description reads, do you enjoy practicing meditation? Well, this heavily meditated meditation design is for you. Meditate in style while freeing your mind and increasing wellness. Makes a great gift for those that enjoy meditating in the lotus position, Zen practice, mindfulness, or yoga practitioners. Namaste. So let's break this description down. The first thing you may notice is that this description contains almost all the keywords from my keyword list. Instead of keyword stuffing, the keywords are used in complete sentences that are easy to understand by shoppers. Although your descriptions can be up to 1500 characters, you want to keep the link short, but be descriptive. And remember that the most important information should be shown within the first 150 characters of your description. You want to describe things like what your design is, who it's intended for, how it was made, or even include the story behind the creation of your design. So my first 150 characters read, do you enjoy practicing meditation? Well, this heavily meditated meditation design is for you. Not only does this describe who the design is for, but also includes several of my main keywords, including heavily meditated and meditation. Also, instead of saying this meditation t-shirt is for you, I stated this meditation design is for you. Stated this way, this sentence can describe any of the products that you have your design featured on, whether it's a t-shirt or a face mask. For the rest of the description, I created sentences based on the keywords from my keyword list. Simply analyze the keywords on your list and use it to create easy to read sentences that describe your design or your target audience. Also, you want to make sure that you're using the correct punctuation and grammar. When building your business, you want to come off as professional and using the proper grammar and punctuation is a great start. And finally, you can add a good call to action to your description. Your call to action can state something like get some for you and your family members or purchase multiple to save on shipping. For my call to action, I think I'll add purchase multiple for friends and family and save on shipping. Namaste. 
So to optimize your description, use the keywords in your keyword list, but don't keyword stuff. There's a 1500 character limit, but keep your description short, specific, and descriptive. Describe the design and the target audience, and put the most important information in the first 150 characters. Make sure you use the correct grammar and punctuation, and add a call to action. And for the final tip for this video, we're going to use our keyword list to optimize our listing URL. Adding keywords to your URL can actually help the SEO of your product listing. By default, your URL will be set as the first 30 characters of your title. But with only a 30 character limit, you can see that the word meditating has been cut off. So let's remove this from the URL and see if we can find another keyword that will fit under the 30 character limit. Let's remove the last two words and see if we can replace them with meditation. Although this is under the 30 character limit, if you look under the text field, you can see that it says this URL is already in use and please try a different URL. That's why it's good to have a keyword list so you can have a group of keywords to select from. Since heavily meditated meditation was taken, let's try heavily meditated yoga zen. And voila! The message now says URL looks perfect. My URL now has four keywords that shoppers are likely to search for when looking for this type of design. So there's a few tips on how you can optimize your product listings on Teespring. Hopefully you can use them to improve your listings and increase your product rankings. We're all learning together, so if you have any tips that you would like to share, feel free to put them down in the comment section. Make sure you like the video and hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.